Novatris, the Melfa, the Chui Treat, the Get Ripping, Class of Knight, the Azazo, the Daniel, Samuel Baron, the Strongest, the Mango Tonics, and with the Sub in 20 months, the Kaipola, the Menu, Kali Chaka, the Open, the 1059, the uh, Whiskey Blast Toys, and Google Lock, the Dog, and Google Lock as well. Common Relic versus Gold, yeah. Um, 18 damage for Gold, slightly suspicious if the shots don't floor too. Because um, if you low roll in the easy hallway fights and take a little bit extra damage, suddenly you're in danger immediately. And here the path is also like slightly suspicious. Oh, this path is like, very annoying actually. Huh, is it still the Gold then? It is Guardian Act, yeah? But um, if we take Common Relic, for example, like, what is the path? For example, like, here, 1, 2, 3. Dodge Advance over and like, question mark, question mark, into here, fire, into shop, into here. Sometimes you're really strong with this, no, you can choose to do this. But um, Advance over is waiting here, yeah? otherwise you double shop and then it's a little bit annoying. The problem with taking 18 damage or 250 go and going this way is that you open immediately a chance to see a fight in here and also is a bad fight. Because you are taking a basically a skip. Like your neon bonus does not make you stronger by this note. And you just take 18 damage. So the chance to see a fight like uh, what 72 28% uh, to see a fight in one of these question marks and then maybe 20% because your neon bonus is empty that is um, a bad fight. Too high, right? It's like 7% low roll. Hello, Atorius. Hello, uh, Verocana. Yeah, 7% low roll is a little bit too high here. Because if we need to... I mean, we can rest once. Yeah, but it has to rest twice early, like no eruption upwind. This path is also a little bit weird. Burning Elite is here. Maybe not even doable. And then everything sucks. Common Relic um, gives you more information immediately. It's weak, uh, it's a little bit weaker than 250 gold though, but maybe it increases the chance of being able to fight this. And even if we cannot fight this, yeah, um, Advance Over is a little bit more manageable because maybe Relic is nothing, but at least it's plus 18 HP, you know, it's not too bad. <laughs> and then the shop, yeah, shop would be weaker, but whatever. So take Common Relic and reevaluate. it. That's like learning with the 7 16 months, should be appreciate a lot. Hello, Matt. Hello, Bates and Bacon. Then we go luck. Yeah, common relic and then re evaluate, yeah? Yes, completely amazing. On turn 10, we have triple damage, guys. Look at this. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Well, uh, I don't know, maybe Prostrate will be pickable. Right, Prostrate Plus, for example, suddenly after 3 plays now, it gets us into Divinity. And yeah, I don't know, maybe Brilliance. But usually this is just worthless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Damaru for the Devotion, yeah. Well, with the basically empty Neo Bonus, um, I think we just do this then. It's like fire into shot into fire here and then we do too late at least yeah, with the burning. Most likely this is out of the question, and uh, I do not want to advance always early with this. So, I mean we still start here two fights. Because maybe we high roll enough that this is possible, but two fights question man to here. If we low roll advance always, well sucks to be us, cannot do much about that. But at least we still have our 18 HP. <laughs> I can do something in the Guardian fight, it's actually true. <laughs> if we stay here until, if we stay in this fight until turn 10, we have a divinity. I mean, sounds like a plan to me, you know. Uh, very clear that we Miracle Strike here, yeah? Because 33 and because we are already in calm, like, energy is not a problem. So the bad draw next one will be not drawing two strikes. In which case, well, I guess we block again and then we get owned by this, but you know. Not Miracle Strike right now is just, like, wrong. But yeah, here's Lethal. Here, pot, okay. Uh, Windmill Strike, Damaru, yeah. So on turn 10, we are, like, so insanely strong. 
No Raptor, then we will have. No, no, you see this, right? On 10, 10 like this is 47 damage, and then this is a uh, divinity. We like, do 130. Wow. Um, sanity for prostrate or foreign influence because it's a better early game card. Foreign influence is also better if we roll like random advance always yeah, compared to windmill strike. If we are if you are worried about like guardian or something, you can take windmill strike. But for now, not just yet. We can have fear pot for maybe these. Foreign influence if we have nothing else to upgrade, we can like, make an upgrade here. Yeah, only three card rewards, so eruption upgrade here and then foreign influence upgrade here. That's okay. Um, if you really respect Guardian, you can take Sanctity right now, but I think respecting maybe the random advanced hallway here is like better, 28%. Was the ideal spot for one foreign influence? Yeah, now. <laughs> Hello, Guardian. Okay, okay, and we load this, watch this. Damn. But yeah, if we, um, like here for example, if we do not take a card last draw, like, if you do not take either foreign influence or windmill strike, yeah, and this for you skip again, suddenly you have two skip cards with an empty new bonus, and then suddenly you walk into, I don't know, some garbage here and everything sucks. But, uh, this cannot be picked, like, this is just a skip. And we most likely means that it never is possible to do this then, but you know. Whatever, it's not expected to be able to do this anyway, safely at least. And yeah, I do not want to advance away, yeah? I mean, this way you can still go double question mark, but here, question mark first for information would be better. Technically, I guess you go here and then you see serpent in these question marks and it's better to take. Like, for example, serpent here, yeah? And you take into here, maybe it costs you some HP and then maybe you roll an advance hallway, but it's the same, right? Because it's just an easy hallway here. And if the first question mark is serpent anyway, then you take serpent, you can still roll a freaking fight. And everything sucks. And I don't even know whether we take Serpent or not. <laughs> but yeah, just go here and... What happens? Ah! Ah, Tongs, huh? Tongs and Watcher is a little bit weaker than on the other 3 and Act 1. And main to upgrade right now, we have main to upgrade on the Eruption, for example. Uh, it kills the... I, I wouldn't say it kills, but it reduced the low roll chance in, on this fall a lot if we walk into a 20 turn fight. Yeah, yeah, Tongs is hand retrust, yes. Now, to be fair though, the Tongs actually make the Guardian fight a lot more manageable, you know? We don't even need to respect it and pick any extra card. It upgrades defense, upgrades vigilance, and you know, that's enough. And the downside, of course, is that we have one extra garbage in the Watcher deck. And here, the shop is probably just force remove pen. So if we find, like, for example, a mental fortress or something, I suddenly cannot buy. <laughs> I mean, I can try to buy it, but I don't think it's actually wise to carry pen on Watcher, yeah? You can carry pen on other characters, but on Watcher, is it really... It hurts uh, quite a bit more, like, the miracle already, and then you usually have like one burst turn when you play a ton of cards. Oh, no, 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 Yeah, I'll probably just take the upgrade. But is it foreign influence or is it eruption? Because these are both energy upgrades. <laughs> yeah, these are, these are both energy upgrades. But this is only one energy, but this is sometimes like five energy. <laughs> Most of the time it's more than one though. This upgrade. It's just random, sometimes it's zero. But this upgrade is always one energy. I think foreign influence upgrade is actually stronger into this whole way though. It's like either a draw worm or a slimes. And against the slime, it's actually difficult to play Eruption, yeah, even if it's Eruption Plus, unless we already have Lethal in hand. But on the other hand, the Foreign Influence, you can play it, maybe use the attack to kill the small slime, and then block the big slime with the rest of your energy. And then the Jaw Worm, maybe similar story, honestly. I mean, if you roll a bigger attack on the Foreign Influence, then of course you also kill it without taking damage. 
I went in the one turn multiple, not here though, because these are still only hallway fights. Like eventually, of course, you're gonna rush an upgrade, yeah. But for right now, the consideration is just for these floors. Unless you tell me that you want to go here now. Like if you upgrade eruption, your intention is actually to go here, yeah. Which is a, uh, you know, you open a low road chance unless you accept an empty node. But maybe it's possible. It's weird though, because we... This potion is probably covering for Nob and Lagavulin. Okay, Lagavulin probably, maybe we even take one hit, but even then we don't really die, yeah? And we already have the upgrade in here, so we can even rest here, it's okay. But the problem is our sentries right now is... Uh, unless we see uh, something absolutely premium here, like the, this sentry slide is extremely weird. Unless you go here and then... I don't even know whether there's more value than this or not. Like, you squeeze one elite in, but you lose some gold buy some sub optimal stuff uh maybe you cannot even upgrade because this fight goes wrong that's weird yeah i think i upgrade for the influence first and then reevaluate again here but most likely the part is just double fire with the shop was the absolute premium to solve centuries here like what uh deceive reality would be nice deceive reality with a potion would be would be perfect because the reality is working against like sentries, lack of bullet, and the guardian, and act two, and have this potion against the dog. Hey, let's just do this first. Now, oh, and uh, if this happens, yeah, we can still just miracle and do this. No problem. We can strike the link nine uh, hand grid. Damn. <laughs> Oh, five pot. Ah, uh, five pot. Okay, uh, this card's not good enough. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Crush joy for an influence. Ah. Ah, cross joy for an influence, guys. Actually, a good combo. Wait, I'm not who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore that. <laughs> and right now, we have two upgrades. Is the thing. We, we actually have two upgrades if we go this way. And I don't think we are going this way, yeah? even with these pots, because. Uh, after this portion, that will fire maybe the shop. Well, you can ignore the shop as well, but I think going to shop to remove is okay. Unless they tell me you want this shop instead. Maybe you want this shop. So it's a double upgrade, uh, eruption, cross join these two nodes, and then we go like, farm elite, and then shop here, and then here. Sounds pretty good, no? This also covers the damage for basically most of back two as well. If we have cross join plus and for an influence. One chance right now, three fights, two potions, so uh, currently only 30%. Not interested in this deal, no? Because if we spend our gold better, that's also covering for the a little bit of a difference between the fire and the elite already. Yeah, uh, ah, ah, the relic, ah, the relic, ah, the relic. <laughs> Oh, the relic we can remove immediately. And this is, uh, you know, with the tongs, it's like one... We, we know what relic we get, it is random. But the, the thing about tongs is that it's a very, very strong early game. But if we click this, maybe we try to find something late game. Or we can just take this. But taking this is pretty mediocre value, all things considered. Nah, not really, right? Yeah, not really. Just take plus five. I don't even want to go to this shop, basically. Then I rush an upgrade still. You can also just do not just not go to this shop or even yeah, and then enter act two with like three hundred plus plus or something, and then maybe we can buy something you know like incense burner. Sound wait. What's wrong with sound? Uh, am I muted or what? Okay, no? Yeah, yeah, OBS is showing me uh, normal. Yeah, we go here. Ah, uh, garbage. Well, empty note. Uh, this is absolutely not stronger than the potions we have, yeah? So it's just completely empty. Hello, Frodo. And here, yeah, cross joints. 
If we have a free upgrade at the end, but no more cards, then we can upgrade vigilance against the thing as well. Toxic egg, okay. I don't mind toxic egg. <laughs> Invulnerable and open now, but mm, generally I do not even mind using fear pot here if um, if I have to. So I just do nothing. Eh? I mean, play this for fun. Pretty awkward hand, but just VZ Anton probably. Opening now doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, that's like fine. Uh, how scared am I of this fight? Because Fear Pot is useless against sentries. I, I shouldn't say useless, but not nearly as useful. We can still cross join, like Fear Pot into cross join something. Most of it is against the knob, but against the knob, we also have Fire Pot to reach, and the Fear Pot in this fight is maybe a little bit stronger. Not even guaranteed, though, because if we draw into cross join next turn, we already have Vulnerable 2. <laughs> so this Vulnerable right here is like 4 damage on this, and then 6 damage on this is 14 damage in total this turn. And then maybe it goes two ways. Not yet, right? No, not not yet, yeah. Maybe we fight uh, maybe we fear point in a couple of turns, but not now. So of course end turn with uh, a defend. So that my cross join is applying Vaughn. The choke. Oh the iron wave. Choke is 36. So it is 20 and it is 36. This is 18. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. 20, 36, 18. It's 74. 74, no lethal, unfortunately. Because we can only play... Uh, two extra cards is the worst, so we are 6 shot. Now, if I fear pot right now, we have lethal immediately. If I iron wave to block instead... Then, um, cross joy into Iron Wave is 15, is 20 or 35. And the next turn it gets a little bit weird. Maybe I just Fear Pot then. Double check if Fear Pot actually kills, huh? So Fear Pot, cross join would be 30 damage instead. And this is still 36. But we can do Choke first even. Because we do not need Vulnerable from this. So it's 36. It is 30, 66, 66, plus another 18, 84, 84, 1, 2, 3, yeah, it's like super dead with your pot. Hello, Jam Jam. How's the run been? Kind of a weird start, but we have Toxic Egg now, so maybe, maybe it's fine. <laughs> it's like Damaru start into some slightly weird picks, and then uh, he's skipping a few floors already. That's okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, new potion. Uh, Machu's got right one floor after the chest. Yes, perfect. This is why you farm this elite, yeah? So that you see the freaking Machu's car like, here. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, no, no. You would see Toxic Egg here and then Machu's car here. Ah. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter then. <laughs> oh, these are green cuts. There's also a Warlock, yeah, but these are green cards. On the other hand, we have Warlock with Vulnerable. Ah, uh, Warlock Vulnerable. This is so good, the freaking Spirit Shield Plus. Even Protect Plus, yeah? Protect Plus block 16, and then, you know, it just sold this fight like, completely for us. And we never had problem against Guardian with Protect Plus. <laughs> and then in Act 2, yeah, Protect pretty good draw. If we, uh, the only case where this would be better would be either Sneko or Pyramid, but Sneko we don't care. I mean, way down the line, maybe some meditate ideas with this if we never find extra block, but you know, every skill is upgraded, so we probably can just block uh, with other things. And if I see Pyramid, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to be upset, yeah? If I have the Protect over the Spear Shield. Because the Protect right now plays better. This is either normal sentries and against the sentries, the protect is better as well. 
against the knob probably also true because we hold in hand shuffle it out and maybe use it to block one big hit we feel terribly to steal or turn whatever and in this fight it's actually just, uh, this is just better than this in the guardian fight yeah if you take one off right now you can upgrade it because with the toxic egg either it's just attacks or power that we can upgrade here every skill comes green and the Guadalupe is playing against more than 10 trees in the north as well. And this is common. Ah, it's maybe just Guadalupe. Yeah? It's like vulnerable Guadalupe with an upgrade probably coming in 3 floors. <laughs> and then this is green. It will always come green and it's common. If we, we still want this after Guadalupe, but I don't even know whether that's true or not. Because I would pick like more third eye plus over this maybe. Yeah, yeah. The Guadalupe is vulnerable. How bad can it be? Cannot be that bad. I'm willing to use this for 5, so I will. <laughs> and of course we end turn with the skill, yeah? I mean, as a matter, I take no damage. Path to fate, uh, I guess pick. And then ignore the shop for now because we want to cash in in the actual shop, probably. Call defense or maybe knock fight can be a little bit weird, but we do have 5 pot and we have like 65 HP, so that should be okay. <laughs> and we made pressure points go, I mean, of course. I mean, I of course, I have one with pressure points, but. Uh, it takes me like what two runs of playing with pressure points to to understand that this is an unpickable trash. <laughs> and then I stopped. <laughs> but yeah, you're not going to show me. Yeah? Okay, fight is good. Unless we take a lot of damage, but if we don't take damage, that fight is good. Toxic air and potion chance and gold. I just turn the screen clear. I don't have quite way to strike. Like, keeping a strike guarantee here is good. It also doesn't matter, but it's fine to do that. The cut. And now we are in up with Devil God. <laughs> yeah, so now, now we have some up with Devil, yeah? and with the Toxic Egg, maybe Fusion Hammer is like, more open, so I have to choose whether I want Act 2 power or I want like Ultralight game power. But yeah, I mean, of course, we click the card. It's just. Uh... I mean, 5 post 65 HP is still fine, right? With Nob, like, we can even block it a little bit with Vulnerable Warlock sometimes. Max HP knob again. Uh, drawing Wallow on turn 1. Drawing Wallow on turn 1 is a little bit spooky here yeah, because there's no exit in here. We are in Rattle, so if we can kill it in 3, everything is good. If we cannot kill it in 3, we die. <laughs> like, we actually don't die, but uh, it, it would hurt a lot. Because it would be 16 into 48. That is 64, by the way, yeah, we have 65. <laughs> But I, uh, I mean, drawing eruption is good, but I'm not the fan of uh, the other cuts. And also, if we do not play a single skill, then we cannot really kill it either, because the foreign influence not playing cross joy is not applying vulnerable. But not entering right in here is like complete nonsense. So this turn is basically forced. And this one is actually just forced. Um, there is something, however, pretty interesting is that I can play the miracle this turn into the void like it, it does not do anything but it sets up the cross joint next turn without me having to play this in case it don't have lethal on turn 3 I am still not dead but we deal already 27 47 here so it only has 63 HP and we are in wrath there's no way we fail to kill yeah I mean the the only way we actually fail to kill is that I draw way too many attacks in one turn and then the miracle is also even better then so there's no way like playing this cute line is actually correct. Oh, I, I hope. 
<laughs> I mean, this turn is clear. We can do nothing. So, minus 16. Ah, this is guaranteed lethal, no? Yeah, this is actually just guaranteed lethal. Even if we bottom deck cut. Even if this is nothing. Like, this 5 is still lethal. So, it, there's no never a problem. Ah, no hand and feet. Oh, brilliance. Good. Damaru, look at this. Holy. No potion. Out of work. Ah, it's green. <laughs> ah, it's green. 30 gold. <laughs> oh, 30 gold. Ah, out of war, 30 gold. Ah, out of war. Ah, oh, 30 gold. <laughs> On the other hand, you can just take the, the empty body. Yeah? Because empty body first exit. Like, we have no secondary run entrance or no exit. And here's a freaking mental fortress. So this empty body blocks like, you know, a billion. And we are fighting Guardian next floor. <laughs> and uh, why do we need to be rich, by the way? We have uh, 350 into actual shop already, yeah? Um, so what do I do here? I think I still want to cut, like, I just play Miracle this turn, basically. Yeah. Oh, that's a very gross card to top deck. <laughs> you can accept 6 damage here, for example, and stay in wrath. And then next time we can exit. Or, I can just try through this and play a slow jaw worm fight. Because we actually can block it for a bit. Maybe I just play slow. And yeah, once again, end turn with the skill, so like wall up here, and then Mirko defend. And yes, I would block the three. And here we have a lethal on this. Next turn is really bad against this guy though, so what if we hit here instead? <laughs> yeah, what if I hit here instead? There's a cross joint here into the strike, 19 damage, there's a 25, 34, 34, we have 18 here in foreign influence, so it's most likely getting lethal. And we take 3 damage. Yeah, like this is better, right? Because I... This turn uh, is a little bit annoying, yeah? Well... Yeah. Stop being annoying. And there's nothing else to gain out of this fight here yeah, because we don't have a wish. So let's get out. No potion. Prostrate plus. <laughs> ah, deck doesn't draw though, but uh, Divinity well over. Yeah? On the other hand, we can take second fortress, which right now is actually just bad. <laughs> One fortress is already a little bit greedy with this deck, considering that we have like, top we have no relics that play right here. Like, like do not um, do not misunderstand the situation, yeah. This relic does not do anything. This relic doesn't do anything. This relic is basically nothing. And this relic is only the cards in our deck. So if we pick the garbage card like this. <laughs> we enter Act 2 with zero support. And then everything is terrible. <laughs> Damn feeling over the summon and nine months special lord. And I think actually for... Because this is not a stand swap card. Um, I think for the sake of Act 2, we should upgrade Warlock over Fortress. And into the Guardian fight, the Warlock upgrade is also stronger. Well, it's played, yeah, out of way, even when you think it doesn't play, it will once in a while play. I mean, just having a choice to have energy next turn is good. It's like you play an arm maneuver. But yeah, I do not take the same fortress, yeah? but do I take the post trade or not? <laughs> Attack density is actually not so high here. We have like all four defense. But with the five pot, we can split it in turn two still both silent. Even if we take a hit, it's 46 HP, so we don't really die to that. Afterwards, our deck has upgraded blocks. But most likely it's fine. And yeah, this is being played three times. It gives divinity. Zero energy block four into act two, never picking Sneko. Three times is a little bit too too many times, though, is the thing. Yeah, three times, actually too many times. 
Hey, it basically means that our fight lasts freaking forever and then the post trade plays otherwise that's the only reason you block for. It's just not good, right? So this is a skip, yeah? Yeah, this is actually just a skip into upgrade wallow. Unless you tell me that we need zero energy block for in Guardian to not get chipped to death, but I do not believe you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, skip. It's not a run where I add two, two fortress and carry it around in this deck. There are a lot of runs I would add two fortress that barely play into my deck and then just, you know, play ultra safe. But this run, even if we want to play safe, we might not be able to. With, like, no relic support into early act 2. <laughs> and this right now is just an empty draw most of the time. Until we see probably, like, two more stand swaps or something. Maybe a meditate plus. Okay, Damaru, yeah, how many turns then? I guess uh, with the Damaru, you only need to play it twice, so it's probably like four turns to, to work. Because you yeah, Damaru one time, and then you play Prostrate three times, uh, two times, and then you get six Mantra, and this is four turns, so uh, on turn four, maybe turn five, you get like Divinity. But still a little bit too slow, yeah? not before I see the boss Relic, basically, because I don't think it plays like, in the first five, actually, I don't think it plays in the Guardian that well. And I don't know my boss relic yet. And if it re if it actually plays later, I can still pick it. You know, it's like a common. It will probably just come back. <laughs> oh, so not it's, it's not quite time for this yet. No meditate either. If I have a meditate plus, okay, sure. But actually, if I have a meditate plus, I wouldn't care about this, because then we have some you know meditate into like eruption warlock, and then we're chilling with the mental fortress. Oh, yeah, this just has skill. I'm with the uh, Wallop. <laughs> uh, probably just Miracle immediately then. Vulnerable next turn is just very good. And it does gain payoff immediately now we have, because we have 4 energy. Oh, we split with the 5 pot, yeah. If we need to. <laughs> uh, what are you? Open this now, right? Because I kind of want to play Fortress. But if we play Eruption, then I cannot exit Visions if I also play Fortress. So next turn, sometime I bottom like Empty Body and then we get like a little bit old. Saving this for a split way down the line is possible, but uh, maybe by that time we even have Damaru 10 turns. And maybe Vulnerable can still land and of course we redraw this. Wait, Tongs. <laughs> Wait, the talks, guys. Um, on the deal 14 versus 0 on the deal 5 in the redraw, Riven Tear is just stronger, yeah? <laughs> yeah, Riven Tear is just stronger. PG now means that Empty Body will full lock one turn, so ideally I don't want to draw it this turn. Uh, of course it did. I guess I can do something like this, empty body, defend, and then cut and scry these away, and shuffle out the cut and a scry and shuffle in empty body. I do want to shuffle in this defend, right? Um, is that true? Maybe it's just fake news. That is actually probably fake news. And yeah, in turn with skill. Just in case. And yeah, I see you, see you see here? Out of war coming next turn. I will just play whether you think it will play or not. And while Loblox 18. If I worry about damage output, then we should play strike and then take two. We need to deal 31 over two turns. Next time we know that we have a best block card being shuffled out though. And then it's also not a damage card. But cut to face still here. Um, yeah, probably not. Like, why take two, right? When we can, you know, not take two. <laughs> 21... 
If I do not split now, then sometimes I have problems next turn, but I kind of want to reapply Vaughn basically. Finally, no, no, Foreign Influence is fine. It's just that the problem with Foreign Influence usually yeah, is that you don't have an upgrade for it because your first upgrade goes on Eruption. And then uh, by the time you walk into the second fire, maybe you also already have better things to upgrade. And then if you see the better things that you know cut through fate, empty fields or whatever, then it's not, it's no longer even needed for early game. But in uh, this run, we have double fire like right here before the elite, and the foreign influence will up against skip like first floor. So there's no problem with just picking into upgrade. <laughs> and the highest level, what does it take for Watcher to lose? Yeah, bad place. <laughs> That is the most common reason. In fact, I would say, um, I, I still say this yeah, every time. I haven't seen a, a single Watcher loss that is not player error. Like, not a single one in my four years of playing this game. Like, every single Watcher loss is a, is a skill issue. <laughs> no matter who the player is. At least until now, like maybe maybe at some point see a run that you know is just force you death in the egg one or something, or with the card rewards you see there's like literally nothing you can do. So maybe that will happen one day, but hasn't happened yet. <laughs> like here, if I do not split immediately, I'm uh, sometimes I'm forced to five pot. What would uh, need to happen? Like I need to bottom deck these two, as right? so a one of twenty one into five pot next turn. Seems a little bit weird, right, to have this possi being possible because if I have to five pot next turn suddenly the speed after, yeah, which is 60, maybe I cannot do if I do not reapply Vaughn or draw Eruption at a bad time. So I should split now and then just accept damage next turn basically sometimes. 1 out of 21 will take 10 damage, otherwise we still take a little bit. Uh, but anyway, if I split now, yeah, next turn Damaru 7 is like 10, and then uh, Damaru 7 attacks 10, Damaru 8 attacks 16. Ah, uh, so it's actually better to wait one turn. If we wait one turn here, then the divinity with the Damaru comes when it's doing 5 times 4 in the next cycle. <laughs> and that's actually when I want the, the divinity to happen, yeah, not the turn afterwards. So waiting one turn is actually better for that. And yeah, because it divinity lines up next cycle, then maybe the failing to split thing also doesn't even happen. Okay, fine, I wait. And yeah, didn't happen, the one of 21, I mean. Yeah, we can just do split. And here you see, yeah, Damaru uh, go to 8. <laughs> we can add a word this turn. For what reason, no? Um, so that I can play Warlock next turn, but no vulnerable. Or I can deal some damage here by doing Defend into Eruption into Strike into VG. It deals like, quite a lot of damage. I lose one energy next turn, but it doesn't really matter. Ah, and the quest I can land. And you, you see, yeah? You see the Warlock right here? And you see the, the Nine Mantra? Oh, this Guardian has no clue what is coming, guys. <laughs> it actually has no clue. I I played it to take one. Is this one real or not? Because I really want to apply Vulnerable now, yeah? But I need to know whether this one HP is real. So we're currently missing, what, 27? 27 go to 28? Yeah, it's not. So I can just lose on HP here, as long as I do not lose HP afterwards, so like how much damage is it? Because it's a, it's a ton of damage. <laughs> like insane amount. 10 damage already, next turn we can triple all of this because we have 6 energy. It only gains 20 blow. <laughs> so it has 111 and all of these are times 4.5. Yeah, okay, super dead. <laughs> yeah, super dead. And this one HP is not real, yeah, so I can play first joins now. Holy... 54... 62... 
Oh, these are pretty big numbers. No potion. Ah, come on. Uh, Wish is back. Still not very good though. Omniscience. <laughs> Actually, maybe Wish now is fine. <laughs> it's like the Omniscience um, is better if your deck is fast, yeah? But our deck is right now like kind of slow, you know? We just wait around a little bit, maybe block, 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 and then uh, at some point we have a good wrath turn or we have a good vulnerable turn and we go in. And like, okay, sure, you can omniscience a mental fortress or something, but who cares? That doesn't do anything meaningful right now. And it still pays to energy. Yeah? On the other hand, there's a wish with uh, Out of War, and now maybe we can wish Wallop. And I did also just add another pretty strong front node to block card, like Antibody Plus, which. Maybe allow us to do a thing with the wish. <laughs> On your blade plus with the other war, yes. Well, now we are cooking. Ah, control blade with the Damaru divinity is that you wait 20 turns and then you have expand your divinity with the vulnerable. But I probably take the wish. Ah, uh, Sneko... Probably not. I mean, this is a pretty good Sneko, but I would prefer to not play Sneko and watch her, yeah? If we break on Energy Relic, uh, does this wish really have uh, problems? Do we have problems with this wish or not? Probably not. And then it actually... Uh, it actually gives me, like, kind of an insurance in boss fight because suddenly I have potentially 4 strength. And suddenly we have 4 strength vulnerable Wallop. And 4 strength with, you know, no attacks added. No good attacks added, but suddenly 4 strength is enough damage with Wrath. <laughs> Probably okay. A mid. Now here's a snack ball, but you know. Uh... <laughs> no, exactly, then with the red. How did the silent run go? I uh, left when you were fighting, like, the bull stopping. And I saw that you got out of the fight, and uh, it's actually, the run was actually looking upwards. Pretty interesting one. That's my good red, PMB and Watcher. Yeah, ignore the intentional crown swaps. Uh, 100%. Pick red is also basically 100, by the way. I can, I mean... At least on stream stats, yeah, is 100% uh, pick rate, 100% win rate on Pyramid <laughs> with Watcher. <laughs> now, I will say though, this Pyramid uh, doesn't make us that strong immediately. Now, P uh, okay, I will tell you actually a secret about Watcher. Basically, everything is 100%. <laughs> Almost everything is 100%, so uh, you need to ask like what is not 100 and not the not the other question. And you should actually ask like what is not 100. But here, absolutely we go to shop and I do not actually want to run into super early um, boss elites or whatever. Advanced always are fine. And we can even squeeze value out of hallway fights, yeah? Because we have the Wish and the Toxic Egg. So if we fight like, not a ton of elites in this act, we still can become strong. <laughs> it's win rate 100% because I transform into it and then I always, I always win with the rhythm in my deck. <laughs> like he lost silent run to bird boss. Aww. But yeah, the the deck was looking like apparitions. Yeah, I guess it was like apparitions uh, and still not a lot of draw and no block scaling. So if you never really get something that multiplies the apparitions, probably Awaken 1 just kind of end you because the fight lasts too long for apparition to block. <laughs> On the 2? No, uh, seriously, you cannot even remember. <laughs> it's always like one sentence yeah, and remember like, something completely different. With the flame is on the 2 cards that I have 0% pick rate. The other card, by the way, if you're wondering, is Judgment. But Judgment, maybe we'll see some play soon, because nowadays I, I occasionally would take rare card from Neo. And yes, if I see Judgment against Skip, I would take Judgment. But uh, out of all my time playing Watcher, there are two cards I have 0% pick rate. Number number 1 is Red of Flame, and number 2 is Judgment. <laughs> In 4 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It just backs up some random stuff, you know? And then it spreads.
and he's only 20 years old, so... Um, uh, 10 years from now, maybe, maybe bad things happen. Max advance, Max always fighting here some value, but again, advanced hallway is still a bit scary. Yeah? We can see some... Yeah, anything that hits us like, way too hard on turn 1 can be, uh, can be a problem. This is still advanced hallway, but we have like, a big huge drop here, and then afterwards we have like, rest. And I don't even need to fight a single elite, I can just like dodge, 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 dodge. Go here and then maybe fight this elite, who knows. But of course, if we see anything like halfway decent, we can still farm maximum this act. But going to this shot is extremely clear and I don't want to advance all the way, yeah? <laughs> the birds. Are we fine against the birds, guys? <laughs> And we actually fight against the birds, because this fight is like, spooky as hell, no? If the foreign influence doesn't give me something to down this. Because the uh, blocking with Warlock here is halfway effective. And they have three targets, so the cross joint vulnerable doesn't really end the fight either. But uh, by the way, out of work. <laughs> so, foreign influence now. And re-evaluate or what? Probably, right? That is not a multi-hit. It is however Sucker Punch with block 6 though. So we can Sucker Punch one of them and then down this guy. Like Sucker Punch this and down this for example. Which is probably okay. And I want to play Warlock of course, yeah. so it's a miracle cross drawing Warlock Strive on this. And that also full block this because of Warlock. And this is down, this is weakened, and we take no damage. Now, next turn. is next turn's problem. <laughs> yep, next turn is next turn's problem. <laughs> Hello, Crowman, you good luck. Uh, double swoop, yeah? maximum damage possible. We uh, find this turn for now, though. It's like Mental Fortress into... Can even Eruption kill this if you want. Or we can save energy with the other words. Where was it? Just Mental Fortress into block, 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 block. Instead of doing Eruption right now, because, uh, this already block 14 and we can have energy to play Triple Defend in that. Uh, it's taking damage. Okay, unacceptable. And next turn, they cannot swoop, yeah? So they either only attack for 1 times 6, or they're buffing, and in which case, we still don't even take that much damage. I should kill this. And now we blow. And this is exact full block. While also killing me, though. Ah, uh, they double attack. Which is uh, pretty annoying. But we still full block this, because Warlock is green. And you see why I already say I upgrade Warlock over the Fortress because early act 2 with this run is a little bit spooky. And the Warlock so far is already saving HP. I mean it saves one only, but you know one is one is one. <laughs> you can suck a punch here into Warlock here and that's full blocks. Or you suck a punch here into Warlock here because Warlock here is a bit more damage and this guy's low HP. Which is probably true. Suck a punch here and then Warlock here. Only one times six, no problem. Uh, not doing VG this turn slightly annoying, but we all we do not always run to VG with this, but I would try. Okay, fine. Uh, it is all good then, and we can probably even play Wish. <laughs> yeah, we can probably just play Wish. Can we? Uh, the skill then can play Wish and next time empty body full block this, right? Five energy. No, it doesn't kill. Ah. Ah, it doesn't kill. Wait, how do I play Wish then? I mean, I can empty body into Wish this turn, but that is like incredibly dumb, yeah? No, I actually need to wait. As in, yeah, it actually doesn't take damage, but uh, it also doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter here because it, it cost me a wish play. 
Yeah, if I suck a punch and do on the same guy, then here we have the eruption cross join lead to into just playing wish and next turn an empty body to poop block. <laughs> it's fine, guys. You can wait here for four turns. When the Maru happens, turn ten, we wish for money and then we leave. <laughs> surely we can block this guy alone then with pyramid. Yeah, like surely there's no way we cannot block this guy alone with the pyramid. Yeah, uh, my hand spider one probably. I keep this in hand for some reason. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, add a boy uh, again. And if I draw a strike, we can just down this, and then we can always safely doing uh, safely do this wish. Alright, one, two, three, four. He does whatever this turn. We add a word again. Ah, it's coming, guys. It's coming next turn. Look at this. Holy. Wow, oh, I'm 30 gold. Okay, and this prostrate now I can take. Because we have uh, we know that we have pyramids, so we are on 3 energy, yeah? And we also redraw into this faster. <laughs> so this prostrate now is actually fine. No other way. There was no other way to do it. Yes, I agree. Upgrade eight. Eight upgrades. On the other hand, can remove one, and then because next floor we probably remove uh, this floor we remove as well. So already two defense are gone. Yeah, but it upgrades all my strikes. Ah, uh, remove two is so good though because uh, I mean it's not actually remove two. It's only remove one. But I want to remove in the shop and then how strong is this upgrade? Okay, whatever is the... <laughs> It's probably just dumb to do the other thing, so, so I will do the, the good thing. Yeah, nice posture, so we're gonna defend plus. So we're taking damage unless I pot. Uh, if I pot, do we not take damage? Actually, we still do. Okay, never mind. Taking damage then. Uh, just four straights, defend, prostrate, and cross join over playing other world, well, probably right. Technically, other world for next turn, if we draw eruption, can be a little bit more efficient, but. Yeah, that's probably fine. This guy always dies in time, right? With the pyramid. And maybe this is actually some, some threshold next turn. And do I play Stride or do I play Fortress? I think I play Fortress. Ow! Uh... So the, the upgrade all skippers, yeah? Dead. But here we have Iron Wave to triple strike here's lethal and then Iron Wave defend full block with a miracle. Thirteen inch. Thirty-nine. Perfect. Guys, I have a I have a bad feeling about this wish. <laughs> Is that uh, we wish for 30 gold and this guy steals 40 yeah, if he runs away. If we wish with Adam Gore, but without vulnerable, this guy doesn't die, right? Because he has a 17 block, so 63 HP, and this is a 15. Yeah, this is 18 only, is 24. Even if we cut into a strike, it doesn't do it. Well, unlucky. Uh, can I fail to cut into damage? Why, 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 why? Prostrate! Ah, prostrate! Oh, the prostrate! Ah, the prostrate! Ah. Holy. <laughs> and yeah, it's dead, yeah, 37. Yeah, yeah, Damaru does this once again, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, we can actually pick second prostrate. Second prostrate generally is like, quite okay. Oh, you can take a hot. Zero energy block 18. But with the Warlock vulnerable in here, if we go Divinity, is just fine. Unless you tell me somehow Prey is stronger than Prostrate. 
like the prey is draw neutral yeah <laughs> so it, it does basically you pay one energy to draw one one mantra one energy so one energy to get one mantra and one draw Is infinite? Yes, it's actually true. Sometimes, <laughs> if we see like empty mine or whatever crap, and a little bit more removes, yes, the prey would be infinite. At the same time, we don't really care. <laughs> and yeah, you also lose four bluff. Okay, fine, prostrate. And yeah, we are super rich. Yes, of course, the shop. You can mirror prostrate. Yes, so now we are cooking. But here's a rush down, which is right now not even good. <laughs> By the way, it's not actually even good. But if we buy Rush Down and also the Crescendo, then it becomes a little bit better. Uh, mirror... If we mirror anything in this shop, it would be the Warlock Plus. But that seems a bit fishy. Is Blind good in this spot? No, because uh, our maximum block output is already like... Omega high, and if you want weakness, you maybe wave the hand can show up even, and wave the hand comes green. Who's the boss, by the way? Okay, collector, so we can vulnerable into warlock. That's fine. <laughs> Rush down, Kai. Uh, it can be. Just right now, we have like one. If we buy Rush down, we also have to buy this. Otherwise, it doesn't really make any sense. But it's probably strong enough. Okay, first things first, yeah, of course we remove. Uh, his remove strike or defend. We double prostrate at the probably skill defend first, and maybe we see a couple of fights, and if uh, attack density is a... Like, if block density on turn 1 is too low, we take consistently take damage turn 1, then maybe we can remove strike after. But for now, defend. First remove, still defend. <laughs> and yeah, I think my this is okay. A redshift and we'll up. Afterwards, uh, can still buy a relic, like only top though, for example. We maybe don't want to go to second shop now. But only top though does not come with a potion, yeah? So it's only 5 HP for now. Potion chain is very high though, currently 6, 2 fights, no potions, so 60%. We don't even need to fight this, yeah? After this, we can go here and then collect a potion here, for example, and then fight these two. And this is also optional. Nanchaku right now doesn't really perform. It's like we have no flurries, attacks are expensive, so it's also difficult to push it around before leaving a new fight. It's like our, our attacks are both expensive and also high impact. I mean expensive at one cost, but still difficult to play 10 in a fight and the enemy is still alive, yeah? So like we have 9 in one fight and then the other fight comes back to like 0 or like whatever. Everything sucks. Like, uh, 3 or 4. <laughs> so this is just stronger, right? Also, it makes potentially like Coffee Dripper after this icon a little bit more pickable. Yeah. And it's not like these potions are so good either. Like if you buy a potion, maybe it's this one. But also kind of weird with potion 60 and the fight is coming immediately. Uh, Monka, and we draw wish on turn one. <laughs> okay, okay, scary fight is uh, right here. This is actually pretty freaking scary. We do have the prostrate in hand, costing zero already though. So um, if we draw second prostrate, we already have like divinity on like turn four. Basically, the consideration here is whether I'm, I'm actually allowed to get my thirty gold or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not a scary fight. We wish for go a third one, but I, I think that's what I do, yeah? There's no way I actually need to wish for, like, strength or plated here, right? Right? Okay, <laughs> question no cost two. Not a great start. Oh, 
Fortress rush down, defend antibody and turn out the world again. We can get one more draw by playing this, but I lose uh, complete control over divinity. And I also lose four block um, maybe for next turn. <laughs> I just play this then. But uh, that's the only exit yeah, besides divinity. So if we draw to if we play eruption or crescendo and I cannot play vigilance, we cannot exit from wrath. So that's uh, really really annoying. Potentially. Uh, 18 again is actually probably a good case. Because next turn is only attacking for 10 and, and then we draw into second prostrate and then we can do double prostrate plus draw into vulnerable into lethal probably. So this turn is just wallop, defend, strike and make hand space. And yes, miracle is still very good to keep in hand, so I do that. No cross join yet. We can however go divine this turn if we want. I think I see this card first. Uh, is that lethal or not? We're not in calm, so we go to 1 energy, 4 energy, 5 energy. Yeah, so Heavy Blade is just stronger than Finisher, basically. And maybe Divine now is actually still fine. Yeah, maybe Divine now is actually still fine. The quest draw is playable, it's dead immediately. Yeah, minus zero. Ah, potion. Uh, only top as well, yeah? Potion chance now is 50. Here's a Vault Plus. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think this card is good. That's in my deck. It's also a little bit combo uh, vault with both the Adamu and the Damaru. Uh, I currently have 60, 71 HP. And the upgrade at the moment is on either Fortress or Rushdown, which is... Um, Rushdown is probably slightly bigger, but at the same time it's also not important. But we just fight the Elite, yeah? To be fair, I still have one empty potion slot, so we can even go here upgrade first and take this fight after. But the upgrade is not so urgent. So let's just fight first. A book. Okay, wishing for going this fight is going a little bit too far, at least on turn one. So there are a couple of lines here. Line number one, we miracle wish for plated armor, play empty body, and turn. Line number two, hard first and then reevaluate. Taking goons in here doesn't actually matter too much yeah, because once we go divinity with cross join, we just like, one shot it uh, easily. Actually, just go. We will just actually unshot this when we go divine with vulnerable. I mean, you can see how much damage we deal in the Guardian fire for that one turn. It's like 200. <laughs> I was in value next turn. Yeah, is it 30 go valuable though? Because if you are trying to add a war here, you're losing 30 go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is fine, no? Block. <laughs> so is this miracle fortress vg defend and then i have add war for next turn uh that takes one damage but i guess one is non i guess one is non ow And here you see uh, we can vault and um, after you vault your damaru puts it to seven and with the seven suddenly the prostrate enters divinity <laughs> so we can simply just play double defend vault and the next time we always draw this five and our turn would be prostrate into cross join into wish probably and then go along and then it, it dies <laughs> so let's just do that double defend vault 
Yeah, and now we enter divinity. <laughs> because of the Vault Damaru and Double Prostrate, we enter divinity on turn 3. <laughs> and what for HP resource take some damage on 30? Uh, now... I would have taken a little bit of damage to get 30 gold in this fight. Because we are like, very 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 healthy. But uh, apparently I don't even need to do that. Yeah, 9 energy, yeah? That's not hand grid, but your hyper beam is super dead, so uh, go. And you can see like, how much we overkill this buyer. This is 40, this is 117, and this is another 40. So we overkill this by, you know, the uh, another entire boost stopping. If this guy has 300 HP, he still dies this turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could have killed two boobs. If this guy is 300 HP, he's still dead this turn. Lantern, okay. Lantern's fine. <laughs> Bowling mask would be the first actual AoE, but I'm not too interested. Unless you tell me we need it for Retomancer, but on the other hand, there's Tranquility. Good with the Rust Down. Actually, a secondary exit. Uh, with the pyramid it's slightly worse, the lantern is slightly worse, but it's not even like this is so insanely good either. We would have strike plus. <laughs> this is maybe the worst exit that we can see from this spot, but it's still an exit. <laughs> so it, it's probably still fine. Eh? We have fortress, like. Taking more stands, probably how bad is it? Uh, Adam Boer overplaying Strike because yeah, uh, why do I play Strike now? Yeah, no reason. Unless you tell me I crescendo immediately, but I think Adam Boer. I mean, this is fine. Crescendo now. Probably good. Uh, this at one energy does not matter this turn, yeah? Because we just play all attack on the bird and next turn we have like Warlock into VG to full block the Chosen. So I take the thing that's the highest damage because the redraw also doesn't matter. Unless tell me we kill Chosen right now. Which is, uh, I guess also true actually. Because I have 24 into... 54 is 78, so if a Miracle is dead... But if I don't Miracle, I can wall off this here to block next turn from the bird. Yeah, why down the bird when you can just kill the Chosen instead, right? Uh, actually, 20 Wicked is not killing, so I guess you have to Miracle now. Ah, uh, that's fine. I please die. And we still have Divinity, by the way. Once again, we have this Vault into Prostrate, the Damaru combo. This fortress is well and it works. We can enter divinity whenever we want. <laughs> I don't want to do it right now though. We want to do it to play the wish. So vulnerable here. To exit. Play a defend. Yeah, wish is in hand so now we kill it. 30 gold. Okay, Flex Potion with the uh, Warlock and Vulnerable and Potential Divinity like quite strong. Second Foreign Influence not interested. Pressure Point not interested. Protect Plus not interested. So we skip. And uh, of course I fight this, yeah? Yeah, once again... Um, I can play the Defend here to make a bit of hand space but... Don't think it's needed. So we just fall, right? Because uh, the deck besides the Rat Lao actually does not have draw. And I'm willing to pout here for sure. Let's see what this is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind that. I think that's a, that, that's a fine card. I do need to exit still though. So it's like question no first and save tranquility first, yeah? And now I emulate. 
to uh, kill here. We must wish for gold. Like kill here. And exit. I mean, I don't even need to exit this turn. I can play this into this. Maybe that's better. So this turn, it allows me to do, you know, like tranquility into antibody into wish. <laughs> ah, we are so rich, guys. Cannot go to shop now, but we have free party in Act 3, yeah? So we can just go spend our gold then. Happy flower, more energy. Talk to the hand. Very unnecessary. Mental Fortress and the Warlock were in the deck and we deal like a billion damage with this Warlock. And in a fight that we need more maximum output, we can even play the Wish for Strength. <laughs> no flurries in the current deck. To no tantrum in the current deck. To cash in with the uh, with the talk to the hand. No upgrade for it either because we upgrade Fortress and then we can upgrade Rush down maybe even. Rush down with now is not so important with both the Lantern and the Flower though. At least upgrade at least, and then if we have nothing, we can even upgrade this, it's fine. This is just not needed for any fight, it's uh, mostly a brick draw early turns. Because uh, if you don't have the good payoff, like the flurries or the uh, tantrum, you play this and then how much does it block for over two turns? Like six block or maybe eight block? <laughs> yeah, just play a defend plus then please. Like what are you, the, the light water and the wood, which like, build, yeah? we sit in calm, <laughs> block with this and the defend plus and then we just do, um, and then we just do the wish. Yeah, skip. Unless you tell me bowling bass somehow is strong, but uh, yeah, I don't trust you. Uh, it's actually correct to take this, right? Because this kills the possibility of walking into Act 3. And then we get a match and keep force normality with pyramid and then we lose. So it's actually correct to take this, I'm pretty sure. If you say that your endgame output is already in the deck, which kind of it already is. <laughs> so I just take this and uh, not get forced into some complete garbage, a uh, match and keep normality and nothing really really wrong can happen. Also maybe curse key after this act. And of course if I leave. Uh, Monka? Oh, that's why you have 5 pot, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's why you have the 5 pot. Hmm. Even remove the defense, yeah? I do not even remove strike as a first card. <laughs> we can draw 2 right now. The problem is that if I draw 2 right now, we fail to draw lead 2 and no exit next turn and she attacks, we die immediately. Because we are stuck in wrath. So, uh, probably not. Probably just, uh, you know, uh, hope for the best. So the line would be Fortress, Rush Down, Defend, maybe take 2 damage even. 5 points of Fetch Ramblin, and then... See. But this is why we have the 5 points, yeah. Wrong order, but it so doesn't matter, we can we'll just play this next turn. Or play this turn is the same, it's still skill. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I should do anything else here. So we just end turn and see what she does next turn. Sometimes we we'll take uh, like 40 damage next turn or something. But even then it's fine. We can rest here. See, I've only talked to <laughs> Okay, if she doesn't attack, then she probably will die before she gets to attack. This turn is pretty clear what we do. Yeah? It's just... Um... <laughs> I think I play the prostrate immediately. Even if she attacked this turn, we still have the Warlock to block, and sometimes we can vote into the Prostrate. Doesn't look like it's happening with this hand unless we crescendo into the Vault though, but we can open this first. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Uh, Miracle into Crescendo first and see what happens. 
Right, it's not a vault, but vulnerable on her is also like pretty huge. I mean, that's fine. We kill all of them here and then exit. Unfortunately, no energy to play the, the wish this turn, yeah, but it's just fine because prostrate next turn is divinity and then we can play wish if it's vulnerable so she's dead. And we take zero here. This turn she never attacks and killing this turn is good because flower one with the land turn, the first two turns we have energy. And turn one we cannot really spend five energy either way, most of the time. So let's prostrate now. Play the wish for gold and then we kill. Gremly leader, drop a Gremly horn, very low accurate. Uh, the card is back. Is it better than the last time? Because uh, I think it still sucks here, yeah? our deck doesn't really draw yet. <laughs> so right now the actual big block engine that we have is vulnerable into Warlock and not the Mental Fortress. At least not, not now. Even with the rush down. Because no inner peace, no empty mind. Wrath entrance is also only crescendo eruption. No tantrum, no indignation. Like repeating is only one wrath. No sanctity, one cut through fate. No foresight. So this is actually not even good. Uh, I skip, yeah? And for endgame, I'll pull like one man to watch this green with the wall is probably enough. With the pyramid. Yeah, I think I just skip. It will for what? <laughs> yeah, for what though, exactly. Um, Rush Down VG Strike or Rush Down VG Cross Draw immediately is also fine. But uh, I guess we just play Strike then. So it's like Rush Down Strike VG, yeah? Play fortress here. <laughs> okay, so um, we already have divinity in hand if we want to. And yeah, they do want to. I don't want to kill them this turn, no? but I do want divinity. We go. Yeah, this guy's dead. This guy's not dead intentionally. <laughs> and show sure, password again. Full block. Next turn, uh, we exit immunity and we have this four block for free. And we can still block this guy with like tranquility defend and then we advance power again to one. Yeah, do this four block. And kill next turn. Hello, on you, Mental Fortress? No, I already skipped two Mental Fortress in this run. I have seen three. Like, only one is in my deck because it's not even actually good right now. <laughs> the actual deck is the, the double prostrate to vulnerable one of. But this right here is just, uh, you know, it's, it's here for now. It, eventually, maybe it becomes broken, but for now, it doesn't do much. Yeah, now we kill him. Yeah? Ah, here's a Sanctity that works extremely well without double prostrate ideas. Uh, it's also over skip. Of course, we take the Steel Chaos into Vault and it deletes some of our cards. Very, very bad. The Steel Chaos into Exiting uh, Divinity or Enter Wrath randomly. Very, very bad. The Steel Chaos with the Pyramid also not super... It's like just on turn 1 really, but... 
not yet right it's not fight time for the bestial chaos because it's only for maybe act four elites but even for that it's not so it's not so simple <laughs> on one yeah we have lantern and our deck is not that expensive either so like five energy on turn one usually we cannot spend unless we draw exactly wish so uh, i like to distribute it like, equally on turn one and turn two If you have a lot more draw in the deck, then Flower on 2 is still better, because like, maybe you can just spend energy on turn 1 then. But right now, this one energy on turn 1 is just going to waste. Uh, fire to upgrade the Fortress, or go to the fight because Toxic Egg and Wish. But Wish Go is no longer super relevant, yeah? we are like already way too rich. Unless this is a shop. <laughs> if this is not a shop, then uh, we already have way too much Go, we don't need to care about it. randomly wishing in hallway fights. Touch eating when the Prime Sun tell much fish alone. The Corio is coming fish switch, okay. Oh, yeah, upgrade fortress first, yeah. Now this guy is one out gold, guys. That's really one out gold. And here you see, right? I like five energy on turn one, like what am I using it for? I'm not even using four energy. I mean, I, I think I am by playing this strike, but I'm definitely not playing Warlock this turn. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we can use Warlock this turn because of the marbles and maybe we can kill. But I kind of also want the Frontline Influence next turn and not this turn. So this turn's probably just VG, Defend, Strike, Romeo, and then see, yeah? And then see what we draw next turn. And cause all the skill last. Not that it matters, because this card is in hand, so we always have a skill before the cross joins. But minus 4 decks doesn't affect the warlock. And we have the gremlin horn here, so most likely we are fine. I mean, it looks fine to me. Only 22, but sure. And this is full block against here, yeah? Wait, why did I even take Rich Heaven? Oh, that was stupid. Uh, hopefully no punish, but uh, that was actually bad. Not playing the Rich Heaven there is also like, kind of bad, so uh, I will still play it, but... It's not a good play. <laughs> maybe it's fine, or maybe it's fine. Okay, I just draw wizard easy. So we have the combo, yeah? Red Mask and Bag of Marbles and strip both artifact on turn 1, which means that um, the cross drawing will always land against P and Shield. It does not land against Donut Decker, but uh, whatever. Out of the hand, it's not being picked up though, so that's not super relevant for a blocking game, except for the Wallop. Yeah, this is skip. And Colorless Spot is not better than these, I don't think. This is absolutely a lot of block with the uh, Warlock and Divinity ideas. Maybe you can even burst like one fight now instantly. And this is less random than this. This cannot even be skipped, yeah? This can be skipped and it can also be something pretty good. Like, you know, Devotion. <laughs> okay, I don't think I could actually pick a Devotion, but you know, whatever. Uh, I mean, it looks like a wish turn one moment to me, so maybe do that. Yeah, we just wish for go and play empty body and take out of war, yeah? And next turn we have five energy, uh, can do things. Hopefully can do things. MT4 on turn two, slightly annoying, but that's fine. And the rat now, sometimes I don't draw XZ with the vault though. But even then, attack like maximum 24. And if I draw into vulnerable, I'm not even take, I'm not even taking 12, if I draw into XZ, I'm taking 0. Otherwise, I'm wasting energy this turn. So, probably I still play Eruption. I can open this first. 
Okay, Carnage with beam cell. I guess we can take take beam cell also. It's still vulnerable yeah, with the beam cell. So with the beam cell, I'm guaranteed to basically block at least 36 with warlock. Ah, beam cell is fine. Yeah? So eruption, the beam cell into strike and then vault. Okay. Yeah, that's full block. And with Tranquility, I can Miracle into Rush Down now as well, which I probably will do. In fact, we can even re-enter Wrath here, but there's no reason to, you know, so I would <laughs> Um, trying to block without the Wallop in hand now is maybe not so easy. But I can try. I can go divine one time. Something like this is full block. Yeah, pretty difficult. But even then, flower on two just wasted. It just comes back earlier. But uh, if we put flower on zero, it does on turn three against collector, which is one of the turns that maybe the energy will matter. Matter is more than turn 4, because turn 4 we know Collector is not attacking, so it's like any block card is wasted in hand, it's just damage. <laughs> Basically I can kill this turn, but uh, I don't think it's actually good, yeah? Sometimes we can block next turn, it would be much better. Actually, can we ever block next turn? Cannot, right? Because Warlock is too much damage. Ah. Maybe with Fortress we can. Yeah, yeah, maybe with the fortress actually can like with this, and we put out to one again, which will be the number one. Oh, we actually can. And look at how much block this is. Pray. Again, only draw neutral, though it's not draw positive. And we do not actually, actually need more mantra in the deck. We double prostrate, and here we enter divinity fast enough. <laughs> so I don't think I'm too interested in praying. Because it is also an empty a brick drawn turn one. And we skip again, yeah? Like, we've. Yeah, I would like more sanctity, some third eyes, inner peace would be nice, uh, empty mind. Would be very very good. Meditate would be amazing. Worship better? No, of course not. I would not pick the worship. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> if you want a third mantra card, yeah, just pick another prostrate. But I don't think we need a third mantra card. Do I take devotion? No, most likely not. Uh, do I recall here because rush the upgrade also doesn't matter. The only other upgrade is I cut. But recall here opens uh, rest in every fire act three if something goes wrong or we see some, I don't know, maybe some bell versus garbage and then we have like take or talk or whatever. Yeah, okay, sure, recall. Oh yeah, you see, a flower on turn one would be completely wasted. Uh, I'm still busy cross drawing her. It's like busy cross drawing strike and we in calm, but it also means the next turn if I have wrath in hand, I cannot enter wrath because there's no exit. But wasting four energy is also a little bit fishy, yeah? Of course, I want this to apply vulnerable, so if I do not play VG here, I only play double strike and we waste two energy. And then I still need to spend two energy on this at another point in the fight. Seems good. Also, there's no need to panic even if we take a big hit next turn because yeah, plenty of HP. You have this and rest every fire from here now. <laughs> I'm very really funny. Wait, wait, what is the game mode? Because I see that you're a doctor. <laughs> uh, why can't I? Why can't I see the game mode? A uh, stream manager doesn't show me the game mode. I can see that uh, you're not a believer, so uh, 
Maybe there's something fishy going on, yeah? Okay, VZ Cluster and Strike. You mean it show it? It only shows after it's resolved. It's like when 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 it's resolved, I can see what it is, but it doesn't show up like when it's um yeah when when it's in process. Score more or less? Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> so it's not about whether this one wins or not. Okay, she goes in. And we have the thing. Uh, do I care about defending hand or not? I want out of war for sure, but... Okay, just vote then. Boom block. Um, do not need a war here because uh, strike divinity is coming soon. But at the same time, strike in divinity is much stronger, yeah, than strike outside divinity. So we just hold all of these. Take out a war. Next turn, force trade with vulnerable. Still on one. Exactly the last turn of vulnerable, yeah. And then we go in with like some triple strike and whatever. And she's. Uh, I don't even know how much these strikes will deal. But we'll find out next turn like, how strong the strikes are. But I think they're pretty strong. 40. <laughs> oh, that's a big number. Uh, off one pulls back. Oh, off one double prostrate. My prediction, yeah, yeah, but then I have to actually open the menu and whatever. It doesn't show me the default view. <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, we have the open double prostrate here, yeah? so Mantra goes back to 6 and I need to only redraw one prostrate and I have it again. <laughs> and I mean the uh, skill was also like quite actually quite good this turn. But whatever. Oh yeah. Just play strikes. Play strikes, she dies. Uh, she is dead, actually. <laughs> If I want to, I, I don't want to though, not yet. And next turn is only uh, debuffing, yeah? so it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> uh, let's question all now so I can freaking wish. We can enter Divinity again, by the way, um, thanks to the 0 for 1. Uh, next turn is better. Yeah, next turn is better. Power on 1 again. The only thing in here that's kind of pickable is Omniscient, but probably not. As I sure sure Omniscient's wish and you can farm some gold, but uh, you know, you see we have freaking 600. <laughs> Omniscient's Fortress sometimes and Omniscient is green, okay fine, and uh, but there are no Calipers. And we have Pyramids, so if we draw top deck like these already, we cannot really discard them uh, in order to Omniscience. So we have to Omniscience the real card afterwards. And that's not even good. And we are not guaranteed to see more energy either, yeah? Sometimes we're stuck on 3. I mean, it sure doesn't feel like we're playing 3 energy deck. But we are 3 base energy on this at the moment. But yeah, I just skip, yeah? Well, here's the bell into a memory, or we can take holy water, but holy water... Also, it's a little bit weird. Considering that, like, anytime we draw a vault and turn one with holy water, it's like, extremely awkward, yeah? To actually make enough hand space so that we don't overdraw. And even normally, because turn 1, turn 2, we have Lantern. Um, yeah, we, we have Lantern, Happy Flower. 
So we don't probably don't need a miracle energy on turn one and turn two either. And then they are stuck in hand and you overdraw and everything sucks. Like what are you what are you even doing with the miracle? Only one with the wish, however, is uh, easier to play, but I don't think we are having troubles playing the wish. <laughs> Looking at how these fights have been going, we do not have problems playing this. And this is the only cost block, yeah? Wow. <laughs> Insane, guys. Look at this boss relic right here. <laughs> Our boss relic is minus on Umar restack. Good for us. Uh, we are Omega rich, so of course let's go shop and let's go double shop even. Yeah, let's just go double shop and re reevaluate like this node. Can do four leads on the right side. Every fire can be rest. Can do more fire here if somehow we have like reasons to do so. <laughs> I don't know, nah, nah, it doesn't last on turn, turn seven. We go divinity on like turn four or turn five or something in the fight. It kind of ends. Oh, they're upset. There's nothing I can do about it though, unless I potion. Oh, I wish for plated armor. Because these are not strong enough, we are only 26. And I'm taking quite a lot here, by the way. So you have no sustainment, we can rest every fire because we already recall. And the rest is currently for 20... And this guy also attack, you 20%. If I wish for plated, we block for 18 and I take uh, 7. Okay, 7 is fine. Oh, I can wish strength and kill. With strength and kill is taking more though. Uh, it's actually only also take 7. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'm not wishing for gold here, that's clear, but either way, I'm taking 7. But the wish for strength like that draw 1 card, however, it makes me use my miracle if that ever matters. Maybe it doesn't. It probably just doesn't. <laughs> yeah, wish for strength, that would strike, and then the only wood draw would be... Ostrid. I guess sometimes for an influence, but usually not. Because we have on energy only, and no other card is blocking more than this empty body. Ah, uh, well yeah, it's fine. I guess we can kill this. The problem... Uh, actually, there's no problem with killing this. So we only take 6. Because I wish it was replayed, right? So the fact that this guy explodes in turn 3 does not matter, yeah? <laughs> so that's plus 1. Ow. Six and kill next turn is good. Can I breathe? No. I could have tried to set Sunday on two, but I don't think I can. At least not yet. Once again, three skips. They are toxic air. I mean, I know my, my entire deck is green, but uh, the fact that our deck only has 24 cards and I am not infinite is pretty criminal, no? Considering how early this toxic egg was. <laughs> but uh, none of these are good enough, so we just skip again. Energy again next turn, so I guess we can strike into VZ. But yeah, the fact that our deck doesn't have front load the draw is uh, pretty concerning, yeah? Once we walk into some some actually dangerous fight. <laughs> and there's no lizard tail or pellets or clock of souvenir to make sure that we do not die to the heart instantly yet. So this one is definitely still 
at risk. For now. Because we uh, we are going to spend like, a lot of gold and maybe get like four, five more relics in this act. So hopefully we get stronger by then. <laughs> but right now, right now there is definitely a level of risk. This one is not um, not actually free yet. Even though I would like it to be. Need to be careful of the outclass ruining the wish. Okay, here is fine. Flower is bad number. We can put flower on zero instead of two, and maybe two still, maybe two still better. And maybe two is still better. Okay, that's one of the cards we want to see for sure. I think anti mine is slightly stronger than this, at least as a first copy, but we can add many copies in a piece to our deck. Also 9 gold. Okay, big shop, big shop. Yes, very big, look at this, look at how big this shop is. But this is why we go to double shop, yeah, by the way. <laughs> this shop is complete garbage, so we skip. Unless you tell me we might turn it, uh, we... We are not that rich. <laughs> yeah, we are rich, but not that rich. But we can buy this, we can buy this, we can buy this. And we still have uh, 300 plus for the next shop. Sometimes we see normalities here, like um, the my Bloom. Yeah? And we can even take the normality, because remove our normality here, still have like a billion gold. I don't know whether taking a billion gold is better than Rare Relic though. If we still have like 200 plus, and we can wish here. <laughs> We rush down and we're infinite. You're infinite, yes. You realize that after our hand is 10 cards, we have no risk, right? <laughs> yeah, the only risk we have in these fights are when uh, our, our hand is not 10 cards, that turn 1, turn 2. <laughs> so this is just completely worthless. But this is strong. But I'm also thinking I should probably just buy this on sale. Even though, you know, common card with Toxic Egg, it usually comes for free, but we have waited like two entire acts for it. And it still hasn't shown up. Also, it's discounted. Look at this, plus nine. Also, plus nine. Uh, four, four, four is death. So, uh, let's spend our gold because this, this, this is bad luck. <laughs> and remove Strike now, but... Only remove strike when defense the battle draw on turn one. Do we have enough attacks to pay off uh, on the divinity turn? I think we can remove one strike, but afterwards we'll still be defense, probably. Yeah, yeah, because I just, just look at our deck, how many attacks we even have. Like four strike, and then uh, this is outside the exit divinity, and enter run is also like, not very really good on the burst turn. It was like 5 attacks, 6 attacks, and this is also a block card, yeah? 7 attacks and 8 attacks. Uh, maybe maybe remove defense better still. <laughs> yeah, maybe, right? It's like, what attacks do we even add from here? I don't even know. Like, what attacks do we actually add? Second Warlock or what? Yeah, second Warlock will be added. If we see it. But there's not much else, right? Like maybe second cut, but even then, cut is less damage than strike. And yes, these strikes do, do deal like freaking 40 damage, like 27, we're vulnerable. Okay, fine, remove defense. Sensory Stone with Toxic Egg. Uh, Apotheosis is worthless because all our base cards are already green and every skill is green. So what is here? Dark Shackle Plus is very good, yeah? Um, Panic Button, very good. Second Master Strategy, very good. Second Technique, very good. Yeah, that actually goes very good. Take a weapon. Eh, it's not as good as technique, but is it okay? 
Enlightenment reduce cost of Warlock and the Wish <laughs> and the Vault and the Vigilance. And then we have to redraw the thing again, which is just completely nonsense. Second weapon is kind of okay. It pulls the Warlock in the redraw faster. And uh, immediately on turn 1 is not like a brick brick because we can pull cut through fate at least. Ramper <laughs> seems nice for what? I guess shipping artifact against the heart is actually important. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's actually true. A shipping artifact against the heart is, is generally important in this deck because with our vulnerable, we don't block nearly as much. Yeah? Most of our block is still one of And uh, we also damage is a lot lower. And without the artifact shift, the Dark Shackle also doesn't even land second cycle. And I would prefer to not just use my crush joint to to strip like two layers. It takes way too long and also like I lose a billion damage in the meantime. On the other hand, taking the blind say that okay, I speed it up by one deck cycle. I still need to spend one entire deck cycle to strip artifact. But afterwards the uh, Dark Shackle can full block one cycle of the heart as well. And then redraw into the cross join already works. Yeah, yeah, without the shackle, I don't think it's actually good enough, yeah. But with the shackle, it's probably fine. Ah, and then next floor, I see a wave with the head plus, and then uh, this thing is just complete brick in my deck. <laughs> ah, it's okay, it's okay. Nine go, you know, nine go cannot be that bad. But the, these are terrible, yeah, so we skip. Okay, second shot. Still have enough to basically buy one premium thing. Or multiple small things. Huh. Well, that's pretty interesting, like, this shot. I think it's very, fairly clear that this inner P is going to be bought. But afterwards, it's not so clear. Because I see, you know, first cycle sold right here. Also, kind of first cycle sold right here. <laughs> And this is still around. Cannot buy two potions and remove. So I think maybe just the fairy and the remove is okay. Fairy makes the only total slightly weaker, yeah? So it loses 5 HP in the hard fight as well, even though it gains us uh, 20 something. It loses 1 potion and 5 HP. <laughs> Anchor also help with first cycle. Yeah, when the heart is attacking you uh, super hard, right, on turn 1. Yes, well, it will help. <laughs> 466, yeah? Oh, yeah, probably just fairy over power pot anyway. Right? Um, and we do fairy for heart and um, flex for spear and shield. And if we do not need flex for spear and shield, it can also be a burst block turn in the hard fight with the warlock. So it's not so bad. I was cut to fate, not good enough to buy, I don't think. I don't even know whether I pick one for free or not, yeah? And this thing is coming... Not for free. I just outside them with the sub and 13 months, fish a lot. Yeah, pretty sure I'm just tossing power potion away for this. Oh yeah, by the way, with our deck as of now... With, with, with our deck like this, I would pick a second mental fortress now. So uh, if, if all the mental fortress I have skipped in this run comes back now, I would be happy. <laughs> If we have all the mental vultures that have skipped this run and suddenly come back, I would not uh, complain. I would be pretty happy. And here, I just remove... <laughs> Another defender one. Because we added a lot of skills in here for the Sanctity already, yeah? so um, it's just about turn 1 really. And we are generally just playing strike for damage. <laughs> generally, our strike plus our damage. Yeah, it's probably just remove defend. And we even have this mm, fairy as a little bit of insurance too. <laughs> and yeah, move on. Uh, no upgrade target at the moment, so we farm every elite. The only upgrade target is, I, I guess, this cut or maybe the rush down. Doesn't matter too much. So we uh, just do four elites, yeah? I 
Like here, for example, this already is looking a bit fishy. Like eruption into empty bodies full block, but uh, yeah, next turn, what do we do? <laughs> if he does 45. And yes, uh, one lock does not block next turn, yeah? Because yeah, this guy is intangible. He do have the fortress though, so maybe he can do something, but our deck also has like, some inner peace and muscle strategy now. And it's a little bit dangerous. But not playing eruption into empty body here, just taking damage for no reason, with a question no skill in hand, and we can go divine. So this is injustice. Okay, he's not doing it at least. And here's the master strat. Uh, if I draw to vault now, I guess I wouldn't mind vaulting. So playing crossfire is wasting four block, but otherwise I play the miracle. Or what? I guess I can play in the piece and then master. That's also fine. Okay, so probably just add war this turn then. It's like this, this. <laughs> Next turn, Wall of works, and we do have Rush Down in play, and we still have um, three exits in here and a vault. And a cut. So I will just make hand space right now by doing Australian defense. Of course, it's going in, but we are fine. Because we have a uh, vulnerable Wall of. Yeah, full block this turn. I'll try even without Divinity still will still be dealing 27 and 27 is pretty big. <laughs> Here, next turn, flower on one, Sunday on two. Uh, so no vault, but also vault is not needed. Sometimes hand of greed. Not hand grid. But yeah, uh, farming goal is important, yeah, because we just spent all our goals, so and now we can even if we wish every single fight here, we barely have enough for the broken rare relic and for. So of course we can we can spend the gold. So let's farm more gold. The boot. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever guys, whatever, move on. <laughs> Simmering Fury Plus, how is it? Like, not good enough, right? The draw is kind of wasted, yeah? Because we already have Pyramid and with the Rush now as well, it like, just overdraws 5 cards or something. <laughs> it is a secondary Rush entrance, but it's worse than basically everything that we can see from here. Even second Crescendo is probably better. <laughs> but the uh, Tantrum, of course. Is the best one, and the uh, indignation applying vulnerable for warlock is also like, not really a bad thing, and it's not so urgent. We, we actually do not even urgently need another wrath entrance right, without divinity engine, so this is just bad. Uh, this is the worst exit now. I would prefer to have empty uh, empty mind as the best, but secondly, is uh, empty body plus is also quite quite good. It blocks a lot, and by time for prostrate redraw. So let's just skip, yeah? And it's really crazy like how many cards I'm skipping with the Toxic Egg. Only recall, there's nothing to do here. But resting here is also like overkill and we can rest here still with the Fairy. Uh, I guess we double in a piece plus and the Master Strategy, now this upgrade actually plays. And this upgrade plays a little bit less. Even though, of course, we draw this on turn 1 and this upgrade is still plus 1 card reach, yeah. But this energy upgrade actually plays now. Not sure I can do that. Also, by the way, our deck has 3 cards unupgraded in total. <laughs> Without a lesson learn. After this floor, 2 cards. Yeah, knowing exactly what we draw, pretty cool. And Gremlin Horn in this fight also pretty cool.
probably do exit yeah i should exit here oh resummon again huh summon again slightly annoying but you'll still be fine so what are you flurry i mean the other two are worthless and flurry is actually positive so let's just take the flurry holy Oh, I bet you did not see that one coming, guys. <laughs> and of course, which will go, yeah? Next turn, steal full block her, like, very easily, even without doing anything extra. So just not do anything extra, then maybe play this. And now she attacks, we can just check also, and then... You can also just not strike also in this fight. Uh, not enough damage in hand to kill both daggers though. Even in Wrath. And we can draw a lot here. With the Vow we also can enter Divinity like, immediately. Like for example I do this yeah. And I do this and then we exit. Uh, suddenly I can kill this get energy for this but it's not actually what I want even want to do so we do this now and then our class kill this I gain my energy I also gain seven mantras of the posture now enters divinity and we have divinity equal of if we want to but it's not needed this turn yeah because we can shackle and full block her like that so we just kill this with uh, you know some random stuff we don't, we don't even need vulnerable on her And we don't need vulnerable on this guy or the damage on this guy either because we can just flurry to kill it. I can do a lot of things here. Sando is on two currently. Uh, with this amount of draw, yeah, still not good to put flower on two though. So we have to wait two turns, but that should be pretty easy. Okay, we summon is good for us. So we just end turn and next turn we kill him. Yeah? And next time we have like one here and then two here. Also good in the hard fight. Or other fights, I'm not so sure what this will be doing. But for specifically for the hard fight, it's good. A third prostrate. <laughs> now that I have double inner piece, I think third prostrate actually is good. If anyone, oh yeah, yeah, we actually only have strike as, a, as our damage, which is like very weird. <laughs> but you know, sometimes that's how it is. <laughs> and wish, yes, we, we wish on turn 2 already. But yeah, now that I have double inner piece, I think the third posture is actually just good. So I take that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, we also have enough draw. And keep farming at least, yeah. Do not forget to keep. <gasps> but it's actually Courier, guys, we missed 30 gold already. It says it's fine, it's fine. We can make up for lost time here. It's like, wish every single floor, yeah, from now. <laughs> okay, now now we cannot miss wish. If we, if we miss wish, now we are in trouble. So, uh, please wish every fight. These are fine cards to draw, to be honest. Entering Wrath is... okay. Uh, these are complete trash, I guess the Masterful Star is okay. Even as a redraw, because we probably don't take that much damage. And then, yeah, second prostrate is here. Don't need to be played right now though, so just leave hand as is. <laughs> Why Omniscient Squish? <laughs> Actually true, Omniscient Squish is uh, going to... Actually, we could do something here. Ah, it's fine, guys. It's fine. Don't worry about it. How is this turn, by the way? Just this or what? Don't want to play this now, yeah? Next turn, this one is always buffing. <laughs> we can enter Divinity now. 
Or we can also just not let it play Wish now. And then end turn. That's also fine. Yeah, it's only 20 times 2. Like, this is full block. And do this or what? I mean, this looks fine to me. Yeah, it looks like totally fine to me. And suddenly we can use all our draw, yeah, with the tree, third boss trait. <laughs> Infinite, I mean, it's. I don't think it's actually infinite, but it's like close enough. We draw a lot and we also make a billion energy, and also we block uh, full every turn. <laughs> so maybe you're not like true infinite, but uh, who cares, right? Strong enough. Want to advance the flower and whatever? Advance Sunday a little bit. We are divine again. Evolve plus, no interested. Empty fist, no cross join, no. The giant head. Now, if we draw this hand in deck for, I would be slightly annoyed. I would say. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's not actually that bad because turn one we sweep two layers of artifact yeah, already, so the blight actually weakens both the spear and the shield, and we can take pass over turn two. It's just that we float a lot of energy and uh, the future is unclear. But this hand in Spear and Shield actually is not actually is not even that bad. If it's a heart, yeah, a little bit fishy if we draw like this, but it, it's still fine. I can track puzzle on turn one. I don't even know whether playing that strike is correct or not, but I think hand space is slightly more important. What are you? Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, 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 just, just, just wait a second. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I think this is quite good. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think this is quite good. Uh, Shaco is just like wasting hand. Uh, I waste my divinity if I vote now, but I don't think I care. Because it keeps slow stack anyway, yeah? and I have like vulnerable with. Uh... I have vulnerable with the thing that's basically divinity. And maybe I am divine anyway, no? I'm not, I'm not. I need to draw second prostrate with that mm, thing, you know, to be... Um, you know, to go divine again right now. So let's get to live a one. I actually get to live this turn, that's crazy. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Flower 2-2 two, two now, but maybe 2-2 two, two is uh, okay. Yeah, I do, honestly don't care about flower now. <laughs> Too much trouble, guys, to, to set things up. Let's just kill. Unai, GG. Um, here's a Fear No Evil, which is an attack. <laughs> and I think an attack is probably good. And yeah, it also makes an inner peace draw. Okay, Mike Tonai is also very, very, very good here, but I think this is slightly stronger. Is it even true? This is a much better draw on turn 1. It's actually a much better draw on turn 1. Like, this is the better draw after we are fully set up. Ah, okay, fine. Maybe Tonai is just stronger. And it's not even like Tonai is so, so bad after we are set up, you know, because you can strike through like, all the garbage and then just draw to my prostrate and we go divine every single turn. Uh, tossing this for the food juice is extremely stupid.
But uh, you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> yeah, you know how it goes. No attacks are required. Did I actually add no attacks? <laughs> the rare card was this, and after it was. <laughs> oh, 15 cards added, yeah, and actually zero attacks. <laughs> and we, we are killing things with strikes. <laughs> uh, wait. Okay, okay, in the piece got me, in the piece got me. Hey, in the piece, that's got me. Like this. And we can go divine right now, but divine right now is probably not good. So we just block with Warlock this turn. Yeah, I can play another one. <laughs> I haven't seen a single hand with from this, by the way, but the chance, of course, is extremely low, so it's not uh, super surprising. And yeah, these are garbage, we skip. Wrath this turn and then um, Divinity next turn is probably the plan. The Punai. Yeah, Damaru going in. Yeah, getting there, Damaru. Cross trade again, I guess we can do this too. And prostrate again. Keep drawing. And prostrate again. Next time we go divine again, yeah? Uh, I scry through the thing and then keep drawing into more prostrates. Of course, no, of course it's good. I mean, I know the foreign influence the foreign influence plus the wood card. It's just that it needs to be green kind of to really perform. And it fits a spot in the run where... It's just kind of awkward. <laughs> Because uh, after all, yeah, on average it's very positive, but it's still random. So if you can just pick an attack that is not random and it does the same job, for example, cap reality, when you just take the cap and you never touch foreign influence, you don't even need to upgrade. But in this run, we have a map that has abundant fires, and we also have it uh, floor one against skip. So of course it's pick. But uh, I like this card. This card is. I mean, I wouldn't call it now good nowadays, but three years ago or something, my pick rate of this card in that one is like 65%. <laughs> and uh, it just delivers, yeah? It actually just delivers like, basically every single time. But having to upgrade it to really perform is like a pretty steep cost. And clear transient? I mean, I can try. I don't. With only two turns to deal 800, it's like pretty difficult, but maybe. Because it's two turns with vulnerable, yeah? And we can draw a lot. And we are dividing this turn, and we can divide this next turn as well. With the vault. The vault is still unplayed. Yeah, go divine again. And again. We don't really have a way to play attacks in between divinity. So it's like, for example, here you want to go into inner peace and draw four to keep cycling to your prostrate. But uh, you don't draw enough attacks in the meantime in order to, to get the payoff. So I, I don't think we can actually kill this. It can do a lot of damage, but killing is probably not possible. Even with a Sunday or Sunday can help, but here you can see like we already run out of draw. Next time we can go divine again, but that is not enough to kill this. <laughs> well, skill here. Who told me to pick the blind? Who was it? Oh yeah, with the Vault Calendar actually plays in Transient as well, so that's cool. 
We can advance the Sunder by one. I don't think we can ever advance Sunder by two. Yeah, I cannot. Well, if one form of influence is so good, yeah, but of course we don't take. Uh, Tranquility not needed and Evaluate is slightly better now with the Kunai, but still, yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> oh, just hit this and see. Okay, so. <laughs> Our deck has one wound now, yeah? Most likely it doesn't matter, but uh, we do have a wound. I don't even know what I want with this, though. What are you? Oh, okay. That helps. That helps a lot because then I can just play Wish this turn. A burn being shuffled in doesn't really matter. And then we can even power immediately. Getting one more energy from this. And now we can go divine. Uh, rush down is late, but it doesn't really matter too much. Saving divinity for next turn... Doesn't actually matter. Let's go divine now. I think this turn is fine. One, two is good. And we already wish. Duality. Uh, no artifact. But. Uh, no attacks, wait. <laughs> well, if we actually have attacks, then this relic is insane, yeah? But we uh, have no attacks. <laughs> Because uh, you can see duality with the freaking prostrate, it blocks like, so so much here. That the, it's way faster than the kunai. I uh, you know, we have no attacks. <laughs> the Kodorin thing was the 7 10 months, please don't. Or uh, just because of the foreign influence or what. <laughs> but the, uh, now the third eye is not good, yeah? So um, this one I don't take, this one's absolutely not good enough, and this one's not good enough, so we skip. Uh, out of war. I guess we can use energy now. It's okay. <laughs> well, that's pretty bad. What are you? I guess it's something. Yeah, the so kunai here and then the postrate block 8 each, for example, is not even that bad. It's probably like this. Uh, voting here is taking damage, yeah? so we need to full block first and then vote. Uh, block at least 12 and then vote. Which we can do. Let's just do that. Don't care about shackles, honestly. Just want to draw my real cards. Can only divine right now. Still don't have fortress in play, though. That's fine. Uh, I can try to set this up, but honestly, I don't want to bother, so I just kill. I mean, that's good. Um, if we upgrade this and upgrade this in Act 4, we have an entirely upgraded deck with our lesson learned or our poor. So that would be pretty cool. Let's do that then. The whole deck being green with our lesson learned with only one egg. These are good cards and maybe not eruption. I 
I kind of don't even want to vote this turn. I want to maybe just ignore the vote. Maybe discard all of these except the cross join. Then. Because I cut into third eye and third eye again. And that's my the setting up for next turn right here. Is this guy a problem? I mean, I hope not. I hope this guy is not a problem. <laughs> like this. Uh, line. We can strength reset here, but yeah, bottom decking all powers is not um, super great. So I reset also doesn't matter, right? so I think I just fat load block with the shark pose anyway. And then it's like one, two, three. Vulnerable now. Probably okay. And then just play stripe then. Probably. Chinato, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate a lot. Uh, it's trying to go in with a big attack next turn, yeah? But uh, I think next turn it will be below 240. I mean, I hope it's below 240. <laughs> we still haven't played any um, any of the two powers. It's only 40 per card. It's like 80, but then we have this. And then we can vote. Oh, just go in now, eh? See what this is? Okay. <laughs> well, that is splitting. Yeah, that's definitely splitting. Sometimes we can even kill it, but I don't think it's super likely that it's going to die here. <laughs> like, for example, Warlock. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, so you can spend another energy on like maybe fortress. No, no, cannot. Actually, you can, can, can. So it's like this one. This two. Sometimes your energy even, so you can wish into vault. This draws two, yeah, and props the thing. Uh, then we can wish for go and then vault. Or we can just play strike and then vault. And sometimes lose the wish. If we lose the wish, we might as well die, right? I had to wish for gold. <laughs> then we vault. And we have another vault, yeah? <laughs> uh, sanctity, I guess we don't need this. So we sanctity into double prostrate. Let's actually do something like this. So like one and then two. And now we can vault. By the way, this is still not the reset turn, yeah. It's actually only trying to debuff and next turn is a reset turn. So we have two turns to deal uh, you know 31 damage, so it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, pretty easy fight, expected. But you can you can see my point about when our hand has 10 cards, we just win any fight, right? So even though purity probably actually gives us a true infinite, it's just a terrible thing to add to the deck because, uh, you know, it breaks your early turns. And the only early turn is the only risky point of this run. Right, once we get to turn 3 or turn 4 or something and we're still not dead yet, the enemy will die. Yeah, our deck is way too strong for for later turns. And we'll play again. And can be a bit tricky. Uh, it's fine like this though. It's actually fine like this. Oh, tantrum. The boots. 
Oh yeah, tantrum is pretty sick. And we can even wish this turn immediately. Calculation of Fusion for this fight ends. Why would you do that though? You use it in Act 4 and suddenly you just gain more HP with only Thopter. Yeah? You use the uh, Fujuis right now, you're losing HP. You are losing like 3 or 4 or something. Maybe using it before Act 4. So just wait. Enter Act 4, drink this, and then in the shop you can buy new pots. A streamer? Wait, is this pet chatter or what? <laughs> but yeah, welcome, thank you. <laughs> it is fine, can fault you. Uh, shackles just like garbage, right? Don't need the shackles. I don't even know why I'm killing this guy first, yeah, but apparently I am. So here we are. I don't see. I have no idea why I'm hitting this guy first. Does it learn over the <laughs> give the sub to uh, almost lose the efficient lot? Relics are uh, actually set up so if we can kill this turn would be great. I guess Sunday doesn't matter, but yeah, killing right now for flower is good. It's not so easy though. It's probably not that difficult, but also not so easy. Uh, actually, without any inner peas in here, it's probably quite difficult. And some daisies. I mean, I guess whatever, right? If we don't kill this turn, then we just wait three turns, then it's the same. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, in rather than full block, yeah? Yeah, for this tantrum thing to work, actually, you need two rushdowns. I mean, it's strong, but I need two rushdowns for it to actually do what I want to do to cycle back into frustrate. So whatever, we just wait three turns, it's fine. Wait, 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 have to be careful, have to be careful. <laughs> okay, okay, it's time to stop attacking. Yeah, yeah, watch out calendar, exactly. Like, otherwise, calendar explodes this turn and then we get a little bit old. Only 22 damage, by the way. Not that it uh, matters too much, even if it does, it's doing like 60. Yeah, next time we can kill. Sunday was on zero, I don't think I care. Oh, that's a pretty high score, right? 2,900. Because that is actually higher score than some winning runs already that killed the heart. And we are not even in Act 4 yet. Also, our entire deck is green. Yeah, every card that we except for Sanders, Bane, and only one egg. Ah, uh, the Shuriken. And there seems to be a Shuriken Relic. There seems to be an artifact potion with our duality relic. Hmm. I don't know, seems quite good. Frozen Eye... But why? I guess with Frozen Eye we can remove still. This is useless and this sometimes does something. It was uh, removing just stronger, right? Remove the last defend. Holy blood vial, yeah, remove defend. And move on. Don't want any of these, right? I'm wasted or no? I'm not even looking at my draw power, I'm just buying it to make my relic bar strong. I guess I can look a little bit, but we don't need to calculate lines. <laughs> we actually don't need to calculate lines here. I 
Like this deck is way too strong to to care about like optimizing playing lines. <laughs> but here, yeah, I would still like to know what I draw into. Ah, you know? uh, like this. Then what else? Like here one. Yeah, eruption good. Goes like this, and then here. What are you? Can sense of time, fine. Guam is dead. Uh, we end the fight next turn, and flowers on one without playing the vault. Yeah. Wait, how do I do that though? Is this lethal? Ah, it is, it is, it is. You know, Evo is back. Is it good or not? It's an attack. And yes, we uh, come re entrance is only tranquility. Yeah, it is too cost, too expensive. So if you want in the piece to draw four, like, you need to play the second in the piece and then you don't even have draw. Wait, it's not green. Yeah, okay, okay, not green cannot add. Like, must skip, must skip, must skip. Oh, I almost lost the run. Yeah, this is why we have chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, this is why I need the chat. Otherwise, I, I just miss these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no green, no deal. No green cannot be picked. Even though it's actually good. And artifact is stronger than, yeah, artifact is stronger than the strength port. So we can choose to get four dexterity here, we can choose to block vulnerable. I guess blocking vulnerable is quite good, so maybe just do that. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine, block vulnerable. So we don't have uh, a permanent dexterity with this, but we still have permanent dexterity with this, yeah? This is fine. What's the turn like this? Into here. Then yeah, uh, prostrate into cross joint into wallop. I guess doing this first is slightly more. Ah, doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, doesn't really matter. Uh, this hand is quite bad, so we we'll probably take damage. But it's okay to take damage. I think damage is like not the not the end of the run or anything. But also, we might not even take damage. Yeah, is that even true that I'm taking damage? I mean, I'm taking damage to beat up death. But beyond that, like, is that actually true or is that fake news? Because it sounds like fake news. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it sounds like fake news to me, you know? So something like this. Actually, I should do this instead. Postrate. Then here and here, divinity. Dealing no damage, divinity, but we can block and then I can re-enter calm with this and do this, and then just redrawn to the postrate. Yeah. These uh, future cycles are cool and all, but whatever. I just use it now. Like more bit of that, also nobody cares. Uh, I play Vault. Oh yeah, this deck is like way too strong to care about nonsense. <laughs> like just, just way too strong. So we max out easily, re-enter Calm. I have 6 strength and 2 decks. It's vulnerable again. Uh, do this first. Let's try away these, so the eruption actually draw into the post -trait. Entering Divinity this turn is actually not a good idea, but I don't care. 
Yeah, it also doesn't matter. Our strikes are dealing. Uh, we play three attacks and it max out. Yeah, so that. Okay, whatever. We'll get uh, one more, one more start. Wait, no third eye in hand. Are you? Yeah, nothing. I can actually get into the boss trade with this. Uh, actually, with the cut, right? Wait, wait, no, not with the cut. Uh, actually, with the cut, with the cut, with the cut. Yeah, with the cut, we can get into the thing. Draw 2, get the cut, go Divinity and Warlock is full block, 1 cut, 90 damage. We also already have full block even without playing Warlock, yeah? so we can play triple strike instead, 76 damage. <laughs> Calendar try is best. Now Calendar, yeah, the Vault uh, griefing the Calendar a little bit, because you play double Vault and suddenly we only have like 5 turns for Calendar to have lethal. And that's a bit difficult. So yeah, uh, full block and let out the play one last time, right? Yep. Yeah, getting the out of war. Yeah, of course we re release, uh, release fairy as usual. Uh, yeah, this one is just, you know, way too strong. <laughs> Entire deck being green, pyramid, and back one... No, we need much else, honestly. Is that like you can get rid of like, basically every relic in this relic bar except uh, you keep this, yeah? And then you keep this? And I don't even know, like, what else do we need here in this relic bar? Like, generally, basically nothing, no? It's like you only need this and this. Everything else can go. And we are still basically just as strong. Okay, fine, fine, fine. This is required, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> the choreo is required. Oh yeah, that's um... Eight on Watcher. And seven rotating. So after eight rotations, yeah? After eight full rotations, the only character that has lost is Iron Clark. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> mm, interesting. But surely I'm tired going to do it again uh, tomorrow, right? I'm is killing everybody? I mean, it's it's actually true. Because I see... I see a lot of big streaks. It goes to like 15 and 16 and 18 or whatever. They all die to Iron Cloud. Yeah, my 19 also died to Iron Cloud. <laughs> Everyone dies to Iron Cloud. Oh, what score? Okay, okay. What a score? Yeah, not that high, 3,800. Um, pretty high for on stream, no? Like, maybe? But yeah, not quite the highest. Highest Ironclad, 3,900. Wait, this one's not on stream, no? This one's off stream. This is still off stream. This is also off stream. Wait, it's all Watcher. Ah, it's this run. Wait, it's actually the highest run on, on stream, then. 3,800. And my highest off stream is like 4,100, also on Watcher. But yeah, I'm not sure like what to take away from this run. It's like we get the Maru and then... Okay, early act one was fine, like some foreign influence basically a little bit... Like foreign influence into Crush Join, a little bit unusual start, but then we just see, you know... Toxic Egg into Pyramid into actually good cuts. And we are strong the entire run. Once again, this is another Watcher run that at no point in time we are in danger. 
There's not a single floor where you look and you think... It's not even dying, yeah? There's not a single floor you look and you can think that, ah, we are losing 10 HP here. <laughs> so, 0, 0, 0... 0, 0, 1, 0... Okay, 16, fine. Knob is too strong. 3, then, then 1, and then the entire Act 2 is also basically no damage. 10 damage here. Yeah, no damage the entire Act. Act 3 also, of course, no damage the entire Act. <laughs> And Act 4, yeah, damage is basically intentional because of a bit of death. Do I play any of your character runs before going live? I practice basically before every stream, yes. But I don't really play full runs that often. I practice uh, mostly early game. And depending on the character, what, what I do is different. Like for example, before Defect. Like before defect run, I usually just play filter the spire and do some, you know, some uh, crown, some sozu, some cage, some inserter, like some garbage swaps, <laughs> and then just play act one, act two. For ironclad is also kind of the same because ironclad act two is a major, major risky point, yeah? and it's actually the most likely I misplay. Because basically every every ironclad runs that. I die. Basically all of them is because I misplay somewhere here. It's always somewhere here. But it's it's not very easy to see. Because you uh, have a wrong basically you exit act one, yeah, and you are doing something like really, really wrong. You don't see it in act one because you are still insanely strong. And then you want to act two and after three floors you realize okay I'm 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 done for. So now you need to hope for the game to build you out and trying for hoping the game builds you on ironclad, yeah? <laughs> it's not going to work. At least it's not going to work like consistently. So you better have play early game properly and then maybe your run is good. Um Silent I actually don't do too many practice runs nowadays. Silent is like whatever, maybe Maybe I do like one or two practice and if I feel like I play full runs. Watcher also depends. But Watcher I do enjoy playing. Um, my, my practice runs in Watcher usually are like filtering for bad new bonus. Is like I choose a card. Maybe I choose an uncommon card of this. And maybe I choose a rare intentionally picking like Ragnarok or Conjure Blade. First of all here I can, I can show you. This is my practice profile. Yeah? Well, so I class my worst character? Well, I guess the world record disagrees, but maybe. <laughs> I would say that I'm class is probably the character I'm the most likely to make mistakes when playing. I would I would say that. Out of the four, the four characters, probably I'm class is the one I'm most likely to make a mistake on. But like here, I'm just playing random Act 1, yeah? It's like, uh, Defect, for example. Some random Act 1s, and otherwise some... Just yeah, some swaps, they unfilter or filter. And yeah, here's a, here's a crown app. <laughs> some practice crown. And I do this basically before every run for this uh, set of rotating games because I want to... I'm putting... basically this is the, the most I have put effort in yeah? in my entire time playing Spire. <laughs> I have never put in this much effort in the game even when I was doing, you know... If, if you know me from when I first... from my very first post on Reddit is like when nobody knows where I am yet. <laughs> and my first public appearance is on, is on Reddit and you know about the 86th page Google Doc Silent sample. That is not even close to the amount of effort I'm putting in right now. Yeah? <laughs> this is by far the, the most. <laughs> Why is uh, the most likely you may make mistake a lot of play now? I think you know, it's very difficult to understand Ironclad, is, is what I would say. <laughs> Just because of the nature of the card pool <laughs> and the nature of burning blood, is that you need to. You, you need to manage the balance like, very carefully in early game. <laughs> Is it possible? I mean, you sure. I mean, I can even find it for you right now in like 10 seconds. 
Give me a second here. Yeah, like right here. Uh, because the burning blood is like it's a very delicate balance if you're losing let's say you're losing like 8 to 10 HP per fight with the burning blood you're completely invincible you can never die <laughs> you, you actually can just just cannot die the spy cannot kill you but if you ever get into a state yeah, where we walk into a fight and suddenly you lose 15 instead instead of 10 <laughs> yeah and now you walk into 3 floors later you are dead it's actually just like that. And the card pool, the quality difference in the card pool, yeah? Also means that the choice of... Uh, the choice of... Greeting early game... Is a lot more common. It's that like you see a card that's complete garbage right now, but... It's so freaking broken that maybe you want it in your deck anyway. For example, second win, dark embrace, feel no pain. <laughs> and when you pick these cards wrong, in the wrong spot, yeah, they kill you. But maybe you do not pick them in the correct spot and they also kill you because you don't have them later. Is there going to be a card run tomorrow? Yes. Most likely, yes. If I'm streaming tomorrow, yes, it will be a uh, card. And I do plan to stream every day for a while. Is my playstyle and clutch change? <laughs> I mean, my playstyle and clutch change every month. But I would say my current understanding of Ironclad I'm the most satisfied with. Basically the, the macro game of Ironclad right now I'm the most happy with. Still make a lot of mistakes. But uh, the mistakes are of a different nature compared to like, in previous games. You actually kind of understand like where everything went wrong. Instead of just uh, I walk into Act 3 and I randomly die and I don't understand. <laughs> You know, it's like you, I click through and I win most runs, but some runs I want to act and I just die without anything to do and I do not understand why. Nowadays, like, these things do not happen nearly as often, at least on Ironclad. Run Resumer? No, Run Resumer mostly is for micro optimization. It's like, for example, I play a fight yeah, and I see that, okay, maybe I play, I did something dumb here, maybe I potion when I don't need to. Then I use Run Resumer. Maybe you run resume to... <laughs> if you run resume to, you know, for example, the card run where I lost recently, like this. And you use run resume, yeah, and then you say, like, clicking this. It's just optimal with this deck. Then I will not believe you. I mean, if you say that clicking this is optimal because of different reasons, yeah, then I would believe you, but... If you click this here, because of Ron Resumer, you know it's giving you this P-Box. And you say, okay, the, then P-Box is corrected, and then you are like, you're not getting anywhere. <laughs> so don't do that. But if you say that maybe P-Box is good because of the potential Immortal Lightning into a Recalcum, you trust this combo to carry you into Act 2. And then you say that this run long-term prospect is actually not looking very good. And you don't believe in this Mortal Shockwave into Feed 5 Funeral Pain. And you want to find the strong cards, like some of the strong cards, and you click the P-Box instead, and you say that you take a risk in Act 2, but your late game is stronger, potentially. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just about where do you think the risky point that runs would be. Instead of, you know, opening the P-Box and then, oh yeah, this is correct. <laughs> That is not what you should do with Run Resumer. Okay, let's get out of here. Don't click P-Box? Nah, I wouldn't agree. I mean, I can I can show you my Clad P-Box or whatever. Maybe uh, on year and a half or one. And I mean, your yeah, Clad dies a lot, but uh, it's still above 80%, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's still 80%, you know, even though it, it seems that like it kills a lot of streaks. 
Uh, what's the green river one? Okay, only four picks though. Not that many. Yeah, sample size is not big enough. It's only 100. But the... It's not even that low pick rate yet, and then all of them won. So how bad is it really? If I still click the box roughly half of the time on Iron Club, in act, after Act 1, and every time it wins. But okay. Yeah, Baylor is on his uh, PB defect streak. So very cool. <laughs> yeah, I do hope this uh, this defect streak of Baylor goes like very far. Yeah? Because he's playing, honestly, he's playing like exceptional. And a lot of uh, a very cool calls in Max. Like yesterday, for example, there was the Coffee Reaper swap. Actually, it was it even a swap? There was a Coffee Reaper, and then he just casually picked a freaking Blizzard of a cell repair next two, you know. And I, honestly, I would agree yeah, with the Blizzard pick. It's just like very, very hard to see whether. That was the correct choice or not, but I would agree. But conventionally, you would never even think about that. It's like, oh, uh, copy Reaper next to everything sucks. <laughs> and you see Seri Pay, you click. But he sees it. He, he sees the good things. So hopefully, this can go very far. Oh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, as always. See you.